Many parts of the shot are too quick to see at normal speed. This section contains clips of high speed footage, allowing you to take note of all the detail and help you shoot gold. When the string of a bow is released from the fingers, it causes the string to be slightly deflected and the arrow to curve towards the bow. Because the arrow point has greater mass and therefore inertia than the knock end, the arrow flexes until it leaves the string. As it travels to the target, the arrow continues to flex sideways like a swimming fish. Less powerful bows require arrows with more spine, literally the ability of an arrow to curve like a spine to allow to flex around the riser of the bow before settling into its path. Conversely, powerful bows need stiffer arrows with less spine as the bow will have a much greater effect on the arrow as it is accelerated around the riser. It's important to select your arrow carefully. An arrow with correct spine will fly through the target line between the archer and the target. This arrow has correct spine, however too much spine or flexure will result in the arrow deforming too much and to fly at an angle towards the bow. As seen here, a stiff arrow with too little spine will fly outside the target line away from the bow. It cannot flex or curve enough to return to the target line. The string travels forward of the resting position and propels the arrow forward. Tuning your bow to make sure the bow and arrows match the archer is important to ensure the bow movement and flight of the arrow are at an optimum. Take note of how Allison remains very still during the follow through until the arrow hits the target. From the side, it's possible to see that after the arrow has left the string, Alan has remained perfectly still apart from the slight movement of his draw arm backwards. After release, the bow moves forwards out of the bow hand towards the target before falling into the bow sling.
If you've tuned your equipment, your arrow does not touch the arrow rest or the button when it passes the bow window, which is known as arrow clearance. Watch how much vibration there is in the bow and sight. Watch the release, see how the fingers relax and the string moves forwards and slightly sideways causing the arrow to flex. Any extra tension in the fingers or hand will influence the release. At release the string starts to move before it leaves the fingers, so you do not need to open your fingers yourself, but release with perfect relaxation. If set up correctly, the draw hand will slide along the chin line automatically after release. If you put too much tension in your drawing hand, it'll cause a bad release. You'll open your fingers widely and disturb the travel of the string and the flight of the arrow. A relaxed release ensures the arrow gains maximum power from the bow and keeps the deflection of the string to a minimum. Filming with a high-speed camera requires bright lights and dark sunglasses. Aviators are optional.